Gyro, you are enough. So here it is. One simple key to stay focused in life. It's very simple. Number one, and there's no other numbers. This is it. Master simplicity. Or you can say minimalism. Very simple. There's a story in the Bible that speaks of Mary and Martha. They were hosting Jesus, the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ came to the house. I'll shorten the story. What happened is that Mary was sitting at Jesus' feet and Martha was in the kitchen cooking and cleaning. Martha got angry at Mary because Mary wasn't helping her. And this is what Jesus said to Martha. He told Martha, Martha, you are worried about many things, but only one thing is necessary. And Mary's doing that thing. What he's saying is that, Mary, Martha, you're running around doing all these things. But the only thing necessary for you to do is to sit down and listen to what I'm teaching. And he said, so then leave Mary alone. She's doing what's necessary. You're doing things but not doing what's necessary. I'll give you another example. If your teacher gave you a, a paper to do or an assignment and the math assignment was literally to answer two plus two, one question, two plus two, and you wrote a five page essay, the most beautifully written essay the world has ever seen, do you know she'll still fail you? Why? You did something, but you didn't do what she told you to do. This is very simple, but it's very powerful. What I'm saying is that in this life, it's not about doing many things. It's about doing what you're called to do. There's a difference. There is a difference. It's not about just getting up, trying to do things. What are you called to do? You know, it's easy to juggle one ball. It's hard to juggle 50. Because the more balls you add, the harder it is to master that ability to juggle because you're having to switch your attention on so many different things. You can't even, you don't know which one to even look at. But if I'm juggling one ball, I can juggle that thing for three hours. It's very easy. That's exactly how God made life. It's supposed to be that simple, but you have to find what you're supposed to be focused on. What is the vision? It's supposed to be that simple. There's, there's God didn't call you to do everything. You're not gonna be Einstein and LeBron James and Jesus and Paul and you're not gonna be you're not gonna do everything you're one human being of seven billion people on this earth you're not doing everything find though even if it's just one even if you're just called to do one thing in this earth but put your head in the dust and just do that one thing this is the problem this is why people aren't focused they don't even know what that one thing is in the first place if you ask somebody why are you in this earth no I don't know oh it's not that serious oh why are you trying to get so deep oh da, da, da. see and then they get offended People have 15 friends, but if you ask them why they have those friends, they can't tell you. They just like having people around them, but they don't value the quality. People that have quality relationships may only have one or two best friends. That's it. But they're quality friends, quality people that can grab them by the shirt and tell them to fix and, 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 and do you understand what I'm saying? They can see them slipping up and grab them by the shirt because they know them. They know this is not you. Not just a friend laughing and giggling. Quality friendships. People have conversations, shallow, no depth. You, you ask them, what's your plan for the next five years? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> but they'll talk about how many points LeBron scored. Shallow conversations, but they'll talk to everyone. Just talking, talk, 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 talk. Just talking, just talking, just talking, 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 talking about nothing. You'd rather be the person you may not speak so much, but when you open your mouth to have a conversation with somebody, you're talking of destiny matters. Let's sit down and talk about our plan to change America in the next five years. That's a conversation. That's a conversation. I can sit down with somebody and plan how to change an entire... That's the... I, I, that means even if I only have two friends that I can talk about things like that with, I'll take that over having 50. All I can talk about is what I did on Friday or how many points LeBron scored or what this celebrity, they, they only want to talk about surface level shallow things. They don't want to talk about changing the lives of men, transforming societies. They don't want to talk about life. They don't want to talk about actually solving problems. That's what you're here for. You're here to solve problems. That's why you're born in a time like this. It's not just to come and have fun. Jesus said, I came to save sinners. He had one focus. He wasn't focused on many things. 
He knew what he was here for. So if you come with distractions, he'll, he, that's why he told Peter, get thee behind me, Satan. You're trying to distract me from my purpose. I have one assignment. I need to get to that cross. He hasn't, so he comes to the earth. He's looking at one thing his entire life, that cross. I have to get to that cross because if I get to that cross, then Randy can have salvation. If I don't get to that cross, Randy can't have salvation. I'm focused on that cross. He's not focused on many things. It's just that cross he has to get to. He's not going everywhere. He's going to that cross. His whole life is leading to one direction, that cross. So it helps him to be accurate. He knows how to, he knows where he's going. He's going one direction. He's not going everywhere. He's going one direction. But then people now, they're going here, they, they're... Because there's no... The tr just like with Martha, you're troubled with many things. You, you're, you're worried about everything. You care about what this person's doing and what this one's doing on social media. And this one said this and this celebrity did this and I, this basketball player did this and this... Uh, 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 but, but with all this you're doing, you're, sit down, wait, wait, no, just relax, relax. And then just look at them in their eyes. What are you here for? You're worried about what everyone else is doing, but... What are you here for, Randy? Why did God put you in this earth? What are you supposed to be focused on? If you buckle down life and make it that simple to why am I here? And I sit down and I can sit down and I can face myself and say, hmm. So I'm in the earth. But why am I in the earth? God, why am I in the earth? Oh, then I focus on that thing. No. Am I wrong? This is the mark of great people. Study any great man. They had a focus. They didn't have many things they were focused on. They had one thing they were focused on. Steve Jobs had one focus. Innovation. He wanted to change the, 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 the tech industry with his company. He wasn't focused on everything. If you hear Steve Jobs speaking, there's only one thing he's talking about. He's talking about the products and services he's creating. He's not, he's not everything he's talking about. You're not gonna get his attention with everything. People are jack of many trades, master of nothing. You're doing things, what are you mastering? <laughs> Do you understand what I'm saying? So what is the key? The key is to master simplicity. Life is simple. Buckle down life to its most simplest form. God created me, check. So what did he create me for? I find what I'm created for, check. Then I do it, check, done. Ta-da!